Today in the news, we got GPUs turning into bricks, Intel's comeback for AMD, and a possible new budget king. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Amazon. It looks like the game that they've been working on is now racking up some GPU casualties. Yep, the uh, open world MMO New World that Amazon has uh, been working on for years is apparently killing RTX 3000 GPUs left and right, specifically RTX 3090s. There were different experiences with New World, but here is one. One guy pressed play and his computer insta-crashed while the game was loading. He decided to, of course, try again after the computer came back online, but this time he heard a loud pop, followed by the computer crashing, but this time he wouldn't be able to pass the post again. For that user, this is the second 3090 to die while playing the same game. His first GPU died during the alpha of the game New World. There are some other accounts of GPUs dying over on Reddit, and it's always the same brand, the EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3. It's unclear why this is happening. I mean, some speculate that it's related to the early issues that RTX GPUs had with the uh, capacitors, and some are blaming the uncapped frame rate for uh, not jiving with the GPU. Whatever it is, EVGA and Amazon better figure out what is causing the issue. Next up, let's talk Intel. As you might know, their next generation desktop Alder Lake CPUs are their first hope at actually taking AMD's crown when it comes to raw performance on the desktop market. In the last week or so, a lot has come out about these chips, so let's recap real quick. Their flagship, the 12900K, has eight big and eight small cores. That's Golden Cove and Gracemont, respectively. The big cores will boost to 5.3 gigahertz max, while the small ones to 3.9 gigahertz. It has a total of 30 megabytes of L3 cache, and in terms of actual power consumption, we could look at 125 watts at PL1 and 228 watts at PL2. How does it perform? Or at least how is it rumored slash leaked to perform? Well, the leaks are pretty unanimous. It's a beast. If we look at its single threaded performance in a synthetic benchmark like Cinebench R20, well, it would get over 810 points. By comparison, an AMD processor like the 5950X scores around 640 points. So Intel scores 25% more than AMD, an impressive feat to say the least. In multi-core though, the leaks do say that Intel still beats AMD's best, but it's a lot less impressive. It is rumored to score around 11,600 points and that's compared to around 10,000 points for the uh, 5950X. In AMD's case though, it can be easily overclocked to be as good as Intel's upcoming chip. The reason why this score is so unbalanced for Intel, why the single core is so high and the uh, multi-core not that impressive, well, it's because of course, Intel doesn't have 16 full performance cores, rather it's a mix of strong and weak cores. As for AMD, the next generation, that's Zen 3 with the 3D V cache, has already proved that it can get a boost of around 15% in games. So it looks like the the uh, next generation is going to be very much so a competition to see who is the best in gaming. Personally though, I would still go with AMD since Intel has yet to prove that it can match some of the red team's perks like the platform longevity or just the power efficiency in general. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Speaking of AMD, we got some GPU news. That RX 6600 XT, it's apparently going to be a beast. Personally, I completely discounted the 600 series as being a little too low end for me. Like the 5600 series from AMD in 2019, yeah, I brushed it off. The 6600 series this year, I did too, until now. This GPU is getting leaked left and right, and the latest one being on Baidu, where a user posted pictures of the GPU and also benchmark results, or at least a benchmark result. Now, this isn't the traditional benchmarks that we're used to. This is a Chinese software called Ludoshi. But in Ludoshi, the 6600 XT surpasses the RTX 3060 Ti. Heck, it is even ranked higher than a 3070 Ti. 
personally, I thought that the 3060 Ti was the best GPU around when it came to price to performance. It was $399 and performed extremely close to the 3070. Well, if the uh, 6600 XT comes in at sub $399, let's say $379 or uh, even $349, well, it will be my new favorite. AMD will apparently announce the new GPU on July 29th with a rumored release date of August 11th. That's kind of close. What do you guys think of this 6600 XT? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about anything I talked about today. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.